that's why most people like them. But I like them as a scientist because they're like crystalline carbon. That's pretty cool. And they're super hard and they're super rare. So all those things combined make them very valuable. A diamond forms when you have carbon graphite and it's exposed to both intense pressure and very high temperatures. You need both in order to basically crush and then form this diamond. The largest diamond ever found was the Cullinan diamond, weighing in at 3,106.75 carats. Its price tag was estimated at over $400 million. Not a bad payday for a lump of carbon. A diamond is an extremely valuable commodity and pretty hard to find. Why? It has to do with the severe conditions needed to create them, nearly 100 miles below the surface. Here, deep inside the mantle, temperatures liquefy metal and pressures approach 1 million pounds per square inch. It's hell on Earth, but the perfect environment for carbon atoms to crystallize into diamonds. In order to reach the surface, the diamonds hitch a ride from a burst of blazing magma, traveling at supersonic speeds. The sudden rush creates a kimberlite pipe, a cone-shaped structure that reaches the surface and encases the diamonds in the rapidly cooling rock below. So how does carbon deep inside the Earth transform into diamonds? Diamonds are the hardest substance known to humankind. The carbon atoms are arranged in this crystal lattice such that the structure is so tight that you can't deform it as it's produced under incredible pressure. 